Hey, welcome back, everyone. This is Roy Phoenix, right? Ace Attorney. Last time we uh, listened to the testimony of Miss April May, who turned out to be a real nut job. And today we're going to be listening to yet another witness, which will be the third witness in the trial of Miss Maya Bay. And hopefully we can get to the bottom of who, who actually killed her sister and my boss, Mia Fay. But without further ado, hopefully you guys have a good day today. So let's continue on with the trial here. It seems like you guys are really liking this series too, which I'm really, really liking a lot. And I'm really enjoying playing this game as well. But uh, anyway, let us continue. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That t-shirt looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Okay, I don't know if there's anything in, the, in those teapots to begin with, but whatever. Very good, sir. Witness testimony, Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from a guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May herself. I see. Defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Cross-examination. Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May, herself. This bellboy wouldn't have any reason to lie. Let me save real quick. But I have to find something to use in his testimony. One more time, I'll press him until he spills the beans. Or his tea. I am the head bellboy at the Fighting Gatewater Hotel in business for generations. I believe I received a call at 8 o'clock in the evening from Desmond Smay. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. How does he know that it's precisely? Precisely 9 o'clock, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. 9 p.m. How could you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy! Tee hee! I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock! Something like that, sir. Well, it definitely does sound like her. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. How would she both be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May herself. Hold it. You were sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It is an endearing mannerism of mine. Now this guy is something else. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir... Oh gosh, look at him now. She, the guest, sir, favored me with, with a, um, a embrasseur, sir. Embrasseur? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Well, why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my firm demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. 
I think our Miss May was after something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Dot dot dot. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is... Is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? We'll go ahead and save. No, we cannot let this happen. We have to protest. W wait please, wait! Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. Alright, Mr. Ray, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Let's save again. What do I ask him? I mean, there's not really much to say about room service. He said he brought her the iced coffee. Bed making, that's not even appropriate to what we're talking about. I'm curious about more of the check-in. Let's click check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Oh, alright. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a, a disappointment, really. I see. Question mark? Excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir. But even I'd have little chance with, lo with her lover there. Exclamation uh, dot 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 exclamation point. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, uh, oh, uh, rather quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Objection. I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> I'm sorry, Edgeworth. Dot dot dot. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? W well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. Shouldn't need to ask. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister, the Mr. Edgeworth, who... Exclamation point. He was asked... He asked me not to mention it if it wasn't... If I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof. You... You fool! Oh, he's mad. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Ray? Who is this other person? Um, have you not been paying attention, Edgeworth? Simple. It was the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. M my what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. 
Move. Upstart. Amateur. Oh, I'd be getting under his skin now. T th these accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. And that's it. We made it through day one of the trial. September 7, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! But really? I think I might be your newest fan! She's cute. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his with his eyes wide and troubling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Hmm. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man was Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Boy, that's gonna be fun. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis... Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony added the court. And that part of the testimony is, the victim dodged an attack then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement to do some investigating. I would normally end the video here, but we're, we're not even 15 minutes in. I don't want this to be really, really short, so... We are gonna do a little bit of investigating before I end this video. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. But yeah, we're gonna do some investigating here, um... Before we end the video. Save your progress at this point, absolutely. And it looks like we're gonna pay a little visit to our favorite female, the, uh, in the detention center, Miss April May. September 7th, 3.11 p.m., detention center visitor's room. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Dot, dot, dot. So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? Well, for starters, how did you get to be so totally wet? <laughs> That's a legit question, Phoenix. Let me examine real quick. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch, a real pro, this guy. Well, maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like this way in here. Smile for the camera. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Dot dot dot? Can 
you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cool. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss Lee. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Okay, I need to find out more about her attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer! But bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or was just against me? Okay, we're not really gonna get much out of her, which I wasn't expecting to, but anyway. Uh, let's go back to Faye and Company real quick. September 7th, Faye and Company Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. An old movie poster. Yeah, I think it's pretty much the same stuff. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are, are yeah. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Wow, that was bad English. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Wait. Well, if there's stuff missing there. That was different. He didn't say that before about the missing files. But anyway, I think that's all we can do here, so... They don't want to go back to the detention center. Uh, um, let's go back to the Gatewater. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, Room 303. And for those of you that may not have noticed, Gatewater is kind of like a play on Watergate Hotel. Of course, the famous hotel that brought down Richard Nixon back that in 1975. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I did say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, my reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> That's what it kind of seems like. So, you are an honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. I saw examine. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. Oh, 
Ah, I still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, what are those hanging on the wall? Okay, so we didn't say anything different about that. Nice weather again today. I can see the fan company law offices, of course. Ah, yes. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to kill. Dot dot dot. J just kidding, sir. Oh, 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 oh. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink. Before murder. We'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Man, that guy is just as whack as April May. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Okay. I think that's pretty much all we can examine. Let's talk more with this guy. Let's find out more about Miss May. About Miss May? Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Wow. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you've heard in the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love Phoenix. He he says things the way he does, the way he. I mean, he says it as it is, doesn't he? <laughs> if you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Oh my God, this case. A photo. Hmm. Might as well talk about the hotel. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Oh, dear God. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your teeth. Ah... <laughs> uh. And on that note, I think I'm actually going to call it here before I do any more investigating, but, um, you know, we'll go ahead and save real quick. But I feel we're going to have a lot more investigating to do before we get back on trial, so I think I'm just going to cut it here. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm really getting into the thick of things here. We did manage to finish day one of the trial, and then uh, we did a little bit of investigating. And then hopefully by the end of the next video, we will be ending our investigation and getting to the whole fruit of the matter of who this other man was in this way. But, but thank you guys so much for watching us. Hope you hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am playing it. And I'll see you guys again next time.